for City Lights on Novus TV. I'm Natalie Langston. We're here at BC Place chatting with some of the biggest names in home renovation, design, and real estate here at the 42nd annual BC Home and Garden Show. HGTV is Brian Balmer, W Network's Todd Talbot, and design duo Jeanette Ewan and Jeff Hancock share their expert insight and inspiration to whip any home or garden into shape. I don't know where to start with you. You're just the busiest <laughs> man I know, that's for sure. You have both seasons and you have spinoffs from those uh, as well. Um, what's that been like for you? Are you able to sleep these days? Uh, yeah, I, I, I sleep when I fly. I sleep uh, between kind of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. No, it's, it's, it's been a really busy 10 years. We'll, we'll have uh, about 300 episodes delivered by the end of this year. Uh, three seasons of House of Brian. We had five seasons of Disaster DIY. We're just shooting the fifth season of Leave It to Brian now. Uh, working on the next projects as well. Uh, we just finished building another another house and just came out with the book. Over the past two years, I've been putting this together. Uh, it's essentially, it's it's everything that all the mistakes that I've made and learned from and seen in the past uh, 10, 15 years. So it's 191 mistakes uh, and how to avoid them. Now, what can viewers expect for this season of Leave It to Brian? Uh, well, I, I'd love to say more of the same, but no, we, we got into some really interesting projects this year. We're, we're, we're trying to really dig into what people should spend their money on. Um, we had a, a couple shows this year I got in and said, you know what, we do what I want to do, we can't afford to do, and we need to find a way to make it happen. Uh, so we've had some good battles with the homeowners this year. I have to ask, when you are busy on uh, both of your shows, what has been the worst case scenario in terms of renovating a home? Uh, geez, we had a house, uh, a, a single father of five kids had torn his house apart completely. Uh, we were getting into November, there was no heat, no hydro, no hot water, uh, and, and this house was ready to collapse. I mean, he pulled out structural walls, he, he did all kinds of things. We had to rebuild that place from the inside out. Um, that, that's probably the worst one that we've seen. Now, what about weird or most shocking things that you might have found during a renovation? We found, uh, I think it was probably a, a prostitute's toolkit uh, in the back of a, uh, an old hotel cabinet that was built into a basement. A uh, big Ziploc bag, a giant bra, some, you know, prophylactics, two $100 US bills, um, and some napkins. And now on another note, um, you're hosting a karaoke event coming up. Yes. Um, it sounds like you think that you're a decent singer. No, no, I'm, I'm not. Sounds like it though, right? After a few drinks, I sound better to myself. Why you never see bright colors on my back? Why my appearance seems to have a somber tone? Well, there's a reason for the things that I have on. That's part of it. Anyway, I can't give it all away, Natalie. We're with interior stylist Jeanette Ewan and designer Jeff Hancock talking quick fixes in your home. So what are some that we can use in our home right now? I definitely would go with painting your door a gloss black and then adding an accent color around the frame. It immediately upstates the exterior of your home and looks fantastic. Um, I like covering vents. You know, a lot of people have ugly vents in their house, those louver grates or whatever. You can go out and get an ornate metal, a punched metal, and, it, and cut it in a small piece and cover it and trim that out and it just makes it so much classier. Here. It makes it easier to dust too. You guys at Parker Barrow just launched um, a whole line of wallpapers. Uh, tell us about those. We did launch a line of wallpapers. We had a ton of fun doing it. We've done really cool prints like a lobster lattice. We have a shark chevron. Really whimsical and we worked with some great designers as well. We worked with Pender Island based artist James Wiper and did a print with him and then we also worked with Moses de la Renta. Awesome. Now with the weather getting warmer, people are more likely to entertain both inside and out. What are some of your top entertaining tips? I think really revisit your entertaining space and make it a lot more fun. Sometimes we get really limited by you know what we think we're supposed to do, so everything's beige. But bring in pops of color, theme out your entertaining parties, and almost decorate for that specific event that you're entertaining for. Uh, now something that simplifies our life is 
kitchen renovations in uh, an easy, simple way. What are some of your tips that make the biggest difference in our kitchens? Well, Jeff has a great idea when you're remodeling your kitchen to set it up in a triangle. And I've gotten this great picture of a kitchen that I worked on with Panasonic, and we used their suite of built-in appliances. And you can see how it's arranged in a really functional way. Induction cooktops are huge, and state-of-the-art microwaves are great, but you can undermount them, and you can move your cooktop away from your actual oven, which gives you a lot more freedom. Uh, now, your better half's not here. Jill, where is she? Did you, did well, you finally get better, fed up? My, yes, yeah. Uh, we, I actually have a restraining order in my contract. It states I'm only allowed to spend a certain amount of time with Jillian, and we've reached our quota. You're on Love It or List It, and navigating the tricky real estate market here in Vancouver is, is sometimes tricky in itself. Um, what's that been like for you? Well, I think the biggest challenge with Vancouver real estate as opposed to other places across the country is that it is so expensive. And so people who have a home in a certain area, they tend to want to stay there. And um, the budgets that they have in order to move to a house that's going to be exponentially better than what they have right now sometimes is the is the biggest limiting factor and so we have to negotiate that all the time and and really any house buying experience unless you're filthy rich is a compromise between location and budget so it's a it's a matter of finding that sweet spot in terms of where you want to live and the lifestyle that you want to have and the house and the structure of that house and how it supports your lifestyle now all new episodes of love it or list it yes. uh you're into your next season uh, tell us what we can expect to see Oh, well, um, we're airing the second half of season two and we're shooting season three, which is another 26 episodes. So we'll be shooting all the way through till the end of 2015. You'll be maxing out your quota of Jillian soon enough. That's right. <laughs> Trust me. For the inside scoop on how that goes, tune in. We, uh, we're just showing some fantastic renovations and some fantastic homes. And I think, you know, we've really embraced, one, one of the unsung heroes of the show is the city that we get to shoot in. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous and we've continued to try and showcase that. Interesting locations, interesting houses. And I think, you know, we've gotten some really great people on the show as well, which, which really helps an episode. People who are extroverted and want to be on television uh, make for a good episode. And, um, and we've got some great people. Home and Garden Events now have a blog so you'll never run out of styling tips or expert advice. Follow along at homeandgardenblog.com. And of course, more details from today and our celebrity guests can be found at the BC Home and Garden Show website. Thanks for watching for City Lights on Novus TV. I'm Natalie Langston.